Before we go into details on antibiotic resistance, it's important to realize that this is a natural phenomenon. It's a bacterial evolution. Bacteria were the first living organisms on this planet, and they have evolved during millions of years in order to survive. Antibiotics and similar molecules have been present in their close environment, produced by other microorganisms to protect them against bacteria. And then the bacteria were forced to develop resistance. In fact, many of the resistance genes we're struggling with today have been shown to originate from harmless bacteria in the environment and have then been transferred to pathogenic bacteria that cause clinical infections. This process has been accelerated during the past decades, of course, as a result of the massive antibiotic use in humans and animals. Bacteria are all around us in the environment. Also, there are billions of bacteria inside and on the human body, referred to as the normal flora. The bacteria help us by degrading the food we eat, they protect us against other invading pathogens, and they probably have a lot of other functions as well that we are just beginning to understand. For example, it seems to be a correlation between a disturbed intestinal flora and the risk of having a chronic disease, such as allergy or diabetes. The normal flora is surprisingly stable over time, probably for a very good reason. Still, sometimes our friendly bacteria will cause clinical infections. For example, E. coli, which is part of our intestinal flora, is the predominant cause of urinary tract infections. And wound infections are typically caused by Staph aureus or Streptococci, which are part of our skin flora. There is a continuous exchange of bacteria between people in the community and in particular between family members. This transfer will in most cases be silent and result only in a symptomatic carriage of that bacteria. And importantly, that goes also for multidrug resistant superbugs. But sometimes, of course, it will result in a clinical infection. To summarize, Bacteria outnumber humans by far. They have existed and evolved during millions of years, and they will continue to do so. So whatever new antibiotic we come up with, there is a high risk that resistance to that drug exists already somewhere in the environment and will be transferred to pathogenic bacteria. We depend on bacteria for our well-being, and therefore the aim of antibiotic therapy is not to eradicate bacteria completely, but it is to kill the few bacteria that cause a clinical infection right now, while at the same time saving as much as possible of our normal flora, and to keep antibiotic exposure in total as low as possible to delay emergence of resistance. This week you will learn more about antibiotic use, resistance mechanisms, and common bacterial pathogens. So please have a look at the following uh, sections, including tables and fact sheets and other materials. Thank you.